I think it is clear to believe in the power of ideas. Fresh thank you to the Manhattan Institute. Uh, let me begin by thanking the uh, Manhattan Institute and the Chamber of Commerce Institute for inviting me to speak here. And I also want to commend the uh, Chamber on its excellent paper, uh, which I thought was really uh, revealing on a number of points. What I want to do today is talk about the competitiveness of U.S. public equity markets uh, as related to this securities class actions phenomenon. So I'm going to begin by talking about competitiveness, and then I'm going to turn to uh, what the committee thought we should do about the issue of class actions. Uh, the committee tracks 13 measures of competitiveness. I'm not going to bore you by going through all 13, but I want to talk about four, and we've updated these numbers since uh, our report in November 2006 and we track all of them on a quarterly basis now, and we put them up on our website. So first number is the percentage of global IPOs by foreign companies. Now what we're talking about here is a foreign company goes public, uh, what percentage of their, uh, of, of their uh, capital is actually raised in the US public market, okay? Uh, so if you go and look at this historically from 1996 to 2005, it was uh, about 30.9%, call it 31%. Year-end 2007, it was down to 6.9%. And uh, first quarter of 2008, it was 1.8%. Okay, so we're getting hammered, okay, the, the foreign companies who are raising money are not coming to U.S. public markets. A second statistic is the use of Rule 144A. Rule 144A uh, is the raising of capital in a private market without a lot of the exposure, legal and otherwise, that you would have in a public market. So um, this has always been an attractive market. So historically, um, of the capital that foreign companies raised in the U.S., they always raised a lot in the private market. So in, in this historical period, again, 1996 to 2005, we're talking about something like 61.9%. Uh, Year-end 2007, 87.9%. First quarter of 2008, 95.6%. So foreign companies that are coming here to raise capital are not using our public markets, they're using the private markets. Um, a third statistic, which was mentioned by the panel, uh, is the uh, almost unprecedented idea that a U.S. company, which is raising capital in an IPO, would not raise it in the United States. I mean, almost every company starts in its home market where it has identification and investor relations, and then may go out from there. But in... Um, 2007, by, I think the number was given of 9%, which is by the number of companies, but by value was 4.2%. Um, and, you know, as I say, you're, you're sort of going away from your natural investor base, and we have legal rules called Regulation S that say if you do this, you can't sell to a U.S. resident investor for a year, and yet companies are doing this to escape the U.S. public equity capital market. And then finally, foreign delistings. These are companies that have come here and decided to leave. So historically, every year maybe, um, get, this is from the New York Stock Exchange, not all exchanges, that every year, historically, it would be about 5.2% of listed companies would leave. This is by number. In by year end 2007, it was 15.1%. People are headed for the exits, okay? So um, that just gives you an idea. Oh, and by the way, some people said, well, that's because the SEC changed its rule in 2007, made it easier for these companies to leave. This is just pent up demand to leave. Well, in the first quarter of 2008, it was only 11.4%. So 
bottom line, we have a very serious problem of competition in our public equity market.